What magnificent testing SpaceX has done to the water deluge system. It's absolutely breathtaking. On Friday, July 28, SpaceX carried out a powerful testing on Stage 0 water deluge system, and it performed more powerful than the first test that was conducted on the 17th. That's a huge boost to SpaceX growth since we are seeing this upgrades after roughly three months of modification ever since the last launch ended in a bizarre disaster. The Stage 0 launch pad has been modified with a dilute system that is more powerful than anything you've ever seen, and its performance is a must-watch for anyone that is interested in the SpaceX Starship project. Join us as we explore more interesting and hidden upgrade on the Stage 0 and what actually got Elon Musk excited about the scenario, all these and more in today's episode of Tech SpaceX. SpaceX commenced a mind-blowing water deluge system testing on the Stage 0 launch pad, and the test was one of the strangest scenarios that has ever been witnessed in the history of rocket science. So let's say the physicist did a new invention on this one. The test happened at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas. During the test, a large amount of water shot upwards shoots upwards under the OLM in 40 seconds. It's impressive how the testing performed just a fraction of the system's full potential. While the exact details are not officially known by the media or the pubic, SpaceX is on record claims that it could discharge as much as 350,000 gallons or 1.3 million liters of water during launches of Starship, and that's way large amount of water so we shouldn't expect any more explosions during the forthcoming Starship test flight. It's important to know that the flame deflector, or water deluge system, will be an added advantage for Starship operations. For instance, it's meant to diffuse heat, sound and energy generated by orbital rockets during flights, especially for the Starship, the company's largest rocket, which Elon Musk hopes will take people and equipment to the moon, and eventually to Mars. Elon Musk posted a video of the test deluge system against the immense heat and force of the Starship launch on Twitter that gained over 8,000 replies and over 12,000 retweets. And it's exciting to know how SpaceX fans were excited to see the test as a complete success and would be activated simultaneously with the ignition of Starship's 33 Mighty Raptor engines. The core function of the Delude system is to protect the launch pad during Starship launches and prove the company's readiness and safety for another launch license which SpaceX is expected to be awarded from the FAA. In addition to what has been modified on the Stage 0, SpaceX has installed a metal diverter beneath the OLM to improve its protective capabilities hence pieces of metal will not flying around the surroundings if there be an outburst like in the case of the previous launch. The system has been designed and installed in response to environmental concerns, contrary to the first ill-fated launch of Starship on April 20, 2023, where the OLM was damaged during the test, releasing dust and debris into the surrounding area. So due to an occasion like this, the FAA is facing legal action for approving the launch, while Starship remains grounded until investigation has been understood in accordance with regulative standards. However, amidst the excitement about the water delude system performance, it was learned that SpaceX has not yet applied for the environmental permits that would give it the chance to discharge industrial process wastewater into the surrounding area, which is a mandatory requirement by the Federal Clean Water Act. SpaceX hasn't opened up on how much water a system test consumes at the site, where that water will run off and what it contains, so that the water agency can ascertain if the whole water will dry up during the heated flight, or it will be discharged into the rivers. Starbase is already surrounded by wetlands along the Gulf of Mexico at the southernmost point in Texas. The habitat's life in the rivers has to be safe during and after Starship launch, or there will be reconsideration whether to migrate or nest endangered species that serves much importance to the indigenous population. But despite all these dangers, it was observed that SpaceX pushed ahead and carried out the test with no permits. And the videos Elon Musk shared on Twitter showed some copious amounts of water flowing from the test site into the surrounding land at the Boca Chica, which of course some will flow into Texas facilities, and obviously the nearby rivers full of aquatic lives. However, a series of investigations was carried out by CNBC News, and a spokesperson for the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality gave his confirmation that as of July 28, 
SpaceX had not applied for what is called a Texas Pollutant Discharge Elimination System TPDES, permit at its Starbase facility, even though it's admitted that SpaceX site has previously attained three stormwater permit authorizations. The TCEQ wrote in an email to CNBC News saying that the determination of whether a discharge permit is needed is the responsibility of the business owner based on how they plan to manage wastewater. The state agency has been in talks with SpaceX about industrial permitting, the regulation of wastewater around the environment. SpaceX hasn't discussed any reasons why it went ahead to do the testing without a permit, nor did it respond to a request for investigative comments. Eric Rush, an environmental engineer through his newsletter ESG Hound, has been monitoring how SpaceX and other aerospace companies comply with environmental regulations in Texas. And he told CNBC that industrial process water is a regulated pollutant under the Clean Water Act. Now, examining the heat, silt and various chemicals that mix into wastewater is unhealthy for the biological integrity of any surrounding wetlands and erodes water quality over time. When permits are granted, the company requires proper treatment and safe disposal of wastewater from industrial processes. Other rocket launch sites that have deluge and their water-based cooling systems in the U.S. also have permits which reach the TPDES standard. So SpaceX won't be an exception. The environmental protection agencies highlighted that criminal enforcement actions can apply to people or companies who negligently or knowingly discharge pollutants from a point source into waters of the United States without a permit, and penalties will include prison time and fines between $2,500 to $50,000 per day. A TCEQ representative told CNBC that the regulator recommends applications be submitted at least 330 days before the proposed construction of a wastewater treatment facility, or any facility that will flush large quantities of water into the United States River. During the last flight explosion that happened at Starbase where chunks of concrete from the launch pad and particulate matter blew into sensitive habitat nearby, the FAA responded into test and took action to ground the SpaceX Super Heavy launch program pending the conclusion of a mishap investigation, standard procedure after such an explosion. But things may grow worse this time around because the battle will be between SpaceX, Environmental Agency, and the FAA, perhaps all of which will delay the Starship launch program for a long time until environmental safety is guaranteed or the aquatic lives close to Starbase are moves to another water body. Jared Margolis, the senior attorney at the Center for Biological Diversity and lead counsel, Jared Margolis in this suit against the FAA said that, We don't know if there is any mechanism in place to make sure runoff is not reaching surrounding habitat, he said. They are clearly making changes to the launch site and how they do their launches. There's been no transparency on that, and no way for the public to see what those changes are. The FAA also made it known to the media in an email that the SpaceX launch site in Boca Chica is not licensed by the FAA, though a vehicle operator's license from the Agency for SpaceX remains in effect. Considering the fact that SpaceX just woke up at this time and try to get everything right all at once, it becomes crazy how SpaceX engineers are finally proactive towards all their childish will do it later creativity. They didn't think long enough on the innovation that are banking in now. You know, having a petty thought that show liftoff from a dry concrete pad would cause massive destruction. If this thought was considered, the FAA and environmental agencies won't be after SpaceX at this time. Now considering all the launch problems, how would SpaceX engineers be carnal-minded to think that the first launch will not affect the environment? Well, it sounds like an impromptu test launch and many factors were neglected before the launch, SpaceX and Elon Musk was already in a haste to lift the buttocks of the Starship from the ground into the atmosphere, though it's been in development for up to a decade now. So, to be on the positive side, let's all wish SpaceX success and pray these other obstacles can be solved. And our hope becomes our reality as Elon Musk will ensure success no matter the problems encountered and we'll all witness the first launch ad Starship will go into space and land safely. At this point we'll wrap it up in today's video. Do you think SpaceX will win the battle with the FAA and environmental agencies in order to receive the launch license?